Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for part 2 of the Battlefield 3 weapon review series. My name is Batman Darkman, now let's get started. In this review we will be covering the M16A3 assault rifle. The M16 assault rifle was adopted by the US Army as a standardized military weapon, still in use even for today. However, the M16A3 wasn't the first generation of its gun category. The M16A3 had brothers such as the original M16, M16A1, M16A2, and the M16A4, currently also being used by the military for today. The final product of the original M16 was named the Black Rifle from one of the head designers of the weapon. The M16A3 assault rifle fires a 5.56x45mm nano cartridge from a 30 round magazine and an additional bullet already chambered in the weapon. The M16A3 fires fully auto and single shot only, and the rate of fire is 800 rounds per minute. The reload time with an empty magazine is 2.37 seconds, and with a half empty magazine it takes 1.8 seconds to reload. Moving on with my personal thoughts of this gun, I have to say this is one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. With its moderate stopping power, high rate of fire, and manageable recoil, it makes it one of the best assault rifles in the entire game. This is my favorite weapon currently, and I cannot wait for the newer weapons that will be released throughout this year. My go-to style on this weapon would have to be close quarter combat, meaning that I tend to use this gun more like an SMG rather than an assault rifle. It is, dev it is devastating to fight one of these bad boys in 10 to 15 meters because of the rate of fire making you more likely to be suppressed or outgunned. It is also a great weapon to use if you're picking people off from the distance. Just remember to burst fire rather than pulling down the hammer the whole time. You'll see it being really effective in medium to long range combat if you burst fire or toggle down the selector switch to fire one round bursts to the enemy. My usual setup for the M16A3 has a cobra sight, foregrip, and heavy barrel. Other preferred attachments are on the screen right now. When I feel I should have a clear view of the target, I would slap on the standard American red dot sight. For the foregrip, I like staying versatile, I'm usually always on the move with the assault kit. And lastly, ever since the patch, I changed views with a heavy barrel. And now I use it almost every time I use the M16A3. For those of you that don't know what the heavy barrel does, it gives you greater accuracy for aim fire, but it increases vertical recoil with the weapon. And I know that's bad, but I'll be covering that in just a second. Overall, I give this gun 5 out of 5 stars. There is little to none problems I have with this gun, and I very much like it and prefer it to anyone that is a beginner or a Battlefield 3 Pro. Like I said about the heavy barrel, it increases vertical recoil, but I also found a way to eliminate that courtesy of Jack Frags. A link to his channel will be in the description. The way to eliminate vertical recoil is by simply dragging down the analog stick or mouse to the opposite of where the gun's recoil is originally heading. Just a slight tug on it and there is minimal recoil on the gun. You could also use this method on any type of automatic rifle. Just make sure you tug on it very slightly or else you'll find yourself shooting at the ground while your enemy has an advantage. Practice this method and you'll be sure to get it in no time. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. Be sure to leave a like and tell me what you think about the review. And also make sure you look out for episode 3 of this Battlefield 3 weapon review series for I will be covering the G36C. Later guys.